let's have a quick look at installing and activating DFX. So after we select our language, read through our license agreement, we get to a window where we decide which components we wish to install. And any valid applications will appear here. So we can tick to install, uncheck to not install. Now the first time that we launch DFX, we'll be asked to activate it. And we've got a number of different options here. If we have a serial number, we can choose to activate DFX immediately, or we can request a trial activation. And this just requires us to select this option and hit next. We can also run this in demo mode, which means our viewer will be watermarked and other features may be disabled. This is a technical support advanced feature that relates to server type activations. But for now, I'm just going to activate DFX normally. And once I've typed in my serial number, it will ask me how I wish to complete the activation. Now, if I'm online, I can request internet activate and it will immediately activate my copy of DFX. If I'm not online, I can request a license from a self-service website and use a different machine to generate up my license file, which I can install right here. I am online, so I'm gonna to go to internet activate here, hit next, and in just a second, DFX has been activated and I'm free to use it. Now, if at any point I wish to use my copy of DFX on a different machine, I can come up to help here, go back to my license and choose internet deactivate, and this will remove the license from this machine here, and I'm free to install it on any other machine that I wish.